Today we'll be talking about the latest version of the Crown Mobile app. Currently there are two versions of Crown Mobile in the Google Play Store, with the latest one being Crown Mobile V2. When you launch the app, you're brought to this login screen. The login ID is the MDU that you've assigned that driver. Passwords are optional in Crown Mobile. If you'd like to assign a password to your driver, you specify that in Crown. The first time you launch the app, you'll need to tap on the three dots in the upper right corner and enter your company's API key. Your API key is unique to your company, and it's provided by Crown. Once you're logged in, you'll be brought to this landing screen where you see a list of your shipments. You can filter the list by type of shipment by tapping on the three horizontal lines in the upper right corner. To get more information about a shipment, simply tap on it. Also on this landing screen, you'll notice three dots in the upper right corner, and tapping on those three dots brings up the following options. Check for jobs forces the device to check for new jobs, circumventing the normal polling process that takes place. Options brings up the options menu, which includes the ability to sort your shipments in various ways. In Crown Mobile V2, we've added the ability to sort your shipments by manifest order. Send files forces the device to send any photos that may be cached, and logout will log you out of the app. Crown Mobile V2 does utilize push notifications to let you know when you've received a new job. To view the details of the job and accept it, tap on View within that push notification. After you've received the job and tapped on View, tap on the plus button in the lower right corner to accept the job. After you've driven to the pickup or delivery location, tap on the plus button again and then tap Arrive. Finally, when you're ready to capture a recovery time or POD time and signer, tap on the plus button again and tap Update. After you tap Update, you're brought to this screen, which can look a little different depending on whether you're doing a pickup or a delivery. But fundamentally, the things you can update on this screen are the pieces and weight of the shipment, the POD time and the POD signer, the ability to mark whether or not the shipment was refused, sign documents, or mark the shipment OSD, which stands for Over, Short, or Damaged. There are a few different ways to get signatures using Crown Mobile. The first one we're going to talk about is called Signature Capture. In the POD screen, tap on the pencil icon in the upper right corner. Doing so will turn the screen horizontal and allow you to capture a signature using your fingertip. The signature is then added to the shipment and can be placed on Crown-generated documents, such as the POD report. Another way to capture a signature is via eDocs. eDocs gives you the ability to sign right on a document. It does need to be configured in Crown, but once you've done that, Crown will send the document right to the phone. To sign the document, tap on Documents up at the top of the screen, and then tap on the document you want to sign. Pinch and zoom on the area you want to have signed, sign with your finger, and save. A new feature of Crown Mobile V2 is the ability to email the signed document. To do this, tap on the envelope icon in the upper right corner. Then enter the recipient's email address and tap Done. The email will send from whichever email address you have configured in the company options in Crown. The final method for capturing a signature with Crown Mobile is our Capture Document feature. This is where you get an actual signature on a physical sheet of paper and then take a picture of it using Crown Mobile. This also requires setup in Crown, but once you've done that, you can tap the Capture Doc button and then select the image type. This will bring up the camera, snap a picture of the document, and then save. The shipment screen also gives you the ability to mark a shipment OSD or take various other photos of freight. You can take received in good order photos, assembly photos, or OSD photos. Also on this screen, you can select an OSD reason, specify the number of units affected, and enter additional OSD notes. Lastly, you can also mark the shipment refused. Once you've captured all the appropriate information and gotten a signature using your preferred method, you can transmit the information back to Crown by clicking on the little floppy disk icon in the upper right corner. 
A brand new feature of Cron Mobile V2 is the ability to update multiple shipments at once. First, filter your shipment list by either your pickups or deliveries. Then, tap and hold your finger on one of your shipments. You may now select multiple shipments. Click on the clock icon in the upper right corner to update all of those shipments simultaneously. Enter the time, and then enter the signer, and tap save. We hope that you enjoy many of the new features of the latest version of Crown Mobile. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 716-651-0977 or shoot us an email at crownsupport at crowndatasystems.com. Thanks for watching.